slimy creatures touching off something of a beach scare. They started showing up over the past few weeks. KPX 5's Dolan says some people have even called police thinking they've made a gruesome discovery. Doc? Yeah, Verona, Veronica, those purple sea slugs have been washing up here at Crab Cove in Alameda. Now, because they're so strange looking, some beachgoers have called 911 thinking that they're body parts that got washed up here. This dead sea slug recently washed up on an Alameda beach. It's one of many found along the East Bay shoreline in recent months. They're about the size of like a human organ, and that's almost what they look like. By the time they're washed up, they're typically dead. This one was barely alive when Morgan Dell held it in her hand. Get up close to it, look at it, investigate it. It's a cool creature. Most people say it's exciting to find them, but they're not the most pleasant looking sea life, and they leave behind a mess of purple ink. They're usually pretty grossed out um, because they are kind of disgusting looking at first. It felt strange the way a starfish does, almost like a, a hard but soft leathery uh, kind of feel to it. It was sort of lavender-ish. Naturalists say they're known as sea hares, and they look like giant snails in the ocean. They lay their eggs, which look like noodles, in the bay, and then they die. The East Bay Regional Park District says what's unusual is the large amount of dead sea hares washing up on shore. They believe this is the second time in 15 years. No one knows exactly why. The theory is the bay waters are getting warmer because they tend to reproduce more in warmer ocean temperatures. The life cycle of a sea hare is about one year, and so after that one year um, of the population boom, then there's a massive death. I wish I could hold one in my hand right now and show it to you, but we've got, we got here around 3 o'clock, haven't seen one on the beach. Naturalists say, yeah, you can investigate it, you can touch it, but just don't take it home, leave them here on the beach. Alive in Alameda, I'm Dahlin, KPIX 5. And these aren't the first unusual looking creatures to wash up on Bay Area beaches. Last July on San Francisco's Ocean Beach, hundreds of these were spotted. They look like some kind of jellyfish, but we found out they're actually something called Valella Valella. Not true jellyfish. These ones are closer to the man of war. We're trying to keep them alive, but it, it makes me really sad. New tonight, a wave of small sea creatures that washed on shore, and everybody is talking about them at local beaches today. Well, check this out. You can see how far the tide came up right here. Wow, it's a line of hundreds of tuna crabs. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins gives us a close-up look. They're not just washing up here in Ocean Beach. They're all over the coastline south in Tijuana and up north in La Jolla. It's like... Gross. It looked like red kelp until you got closer. Creepy. But what were they? Crayfish, tuna crab, Shrimp. tuna crab, tuna crab. <laughs> Presley and Brinley Loader weren't fans. It actually wasn't moving. There were too many to count. So many. Big Brother, the future scientist, had a theory. I believe because the temperature changed in the, in the ocean, in the ocean, and they weren't used to it. He probably knew all about the swarms off Baja during warm spells and how it's not that bizarre for them to beach themselves in masses. Yeah. But you couldn't keep these boys away during their field trip. If you think they were up to no good, listen in. We need more water, first of all. Most of them are dead. We're trying to save the ones that are alive. We start throwing them back in, but like they, we notice that they kept on going back. It's quite the bird buffet, but I wouldn't join in since scientists don't know why they washed up, and I don't think the loader girls would either. She's just scared to touch one.